Well, hi there. I'm Margaret Smith. I am the content editor of Worcester Magazine. I'm here today at the Central Mosque Chabad with Rabbi Mendel Fogelman. First of all, thank you so much to you and to your honey My for taking the time. How you say the word Chabad. I'm sorry? My compliments on how you said the word Chabad properly. Oh, well, thank you. Danke. So we're here in the kitchen of the Central Mosque Chabad, and what's going on is the preparations for Passover or Pesach, which are very extensive. And we were just talking a little bit about what has had to take place here, like with the oven first. And I wondered if you can tell me a little bit more so, about that. With, so with the ovens, so obviously it's used only here for, for, with leaven products. And the idea is to get every piece of hummus, leaven, any leaven, anything with leaven or leaven agents in it, totally out of the kitchen, 100% out. So the first thing I did this morning was I took a blow to this oven. I blow towards the whole oven every, every inch of that oven back and forth. Now I have it on 500. I'm believe it on for two hours. It can't, it can't touch this. It's so hot to make sure every anything's burnt out of that that has any leaven engagement in it. So that's that part. On this thing, on the, on the top, I'm going to take these. And I'm going to burn these up. So I'm going to put them on, on the fire. And you see they get red hot. You do that for a while until they get red hot. And that part of your thing. The sinks... I took this blowtorch, which I, I can't start for this video because right. I just couldn't do it. But I blowtorched every inch of this sink. Everything's here. Now, you understand that we took everything out of here. Any any ingredient that we had in the kitchen that we use all year, is not, this is all full of ingredients usually. Everything, is, and it's not kosher from Passover. So we removed every single ingredient. There's nothing in here, nothing here, nothing in the fridges. As we prepare, we're clean as a whistle, and as you can see, it's shining clean. Now, having said that, now we're going to get to cooking. So we're going to bring all the, uh, we brought hundreds that can follow me. I'll show you some of these that we This is our, <laughs> this is the kosher meats that came in. This is all the kosher meats right. that came for Passover. Here's only one of my four freezers. As you can see, loaded up. Okay. Totally loaded. There's hundreds of chickens here that we're preparing to um, have for the Passover Seder. We have a public Seder here. We have a beautiful public Seder this uh, week from Wednesday, April 5th at 8 p.m. Everyone's invited. There's no charge. It's a full, full gourmet Seder. But, of course, the main part of the Seder is to get everyone to eat a piece of shmura matzah. That's handmade matzah. We use handmade matzah only. It costs about $36 a pound for that matzah. But we make sure everyone, that's exactly the same way it was when the Jews left Egypt, was the handmade matzah. So we eat that, and we make sure everyone has that. Then there's the bitter herbs, which are, you know, the real deal. That's uh, horseradish, the raw horseradish that we eat wrapped inside a uh, romaine lettuce. And that symbolizes the symbolizes bitterness, the bitterness, of bitterness of slavery, of slavery. Of, and bondage. And, right, that was bondage that was there. And, of course, we drink the four cups of wine. So, all in all, everyone's invited to that. Please call us, 508-752-0904. You're invited. Yes. Oh, and here's this more matzo right here. This, this and that's matzo the, that you see here. And that's the saying, right? Yeah. Next At the seders I've attended, it's traditional to say next year in Jerusalem. Next year in Jerusalem. When you finish it, next year in Jerusalem. Now, let me show you this. I bought 2,000 of these boxes. The 2,000 box I do is because we, we, we hand out matzo. I have a mission. I have a goal. My goal is to make sure that every single Jew in Worcester eats a piece of shmur matzah on Passover. In order to attain that goal, I have to go prepare. So I get thousands, and I ask every family to do me a favor. Please make sure everyone eats a piece of matzah as a Seder. So it's as much about community. This is this is really... It's all about community. It's all about community. All the community. Jews got out of Egypt together. They didn't go one by themselves. It was all together. But it's also, I think, about bringing together your local community here, Correct. It's, Having, it's about bringing. It's about getting as many people to do observing the mitzvah of matzah, and it's really about that. And I, and the reason we we make a seder available for not not everyone knows how to make one, and not everyone has one to go to. And if they do have one to go to, they come to ours. I mean, it's, it's not only about my own community. I'm, that's just one thing that I'm different than any other synagogue in Worcester. I'm not here for my only synagogue. But that's not my use. I'm a, I'm an emissary of the world Jewish leader, the Lubavitcher Rebbe Rabbi Schneerson. Our mission is, you know, we have to, I have a territory, central Massachusetts. My job is to make sure that everyone gets a piece of matzah. All right? It's not about building my membership up or anything like that. It's about making sure that Jews 
I have a smorgasbord of Judaism that we, that we make available, and hopefully people take from that. So right now it's matzah time, so that's what that's about. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. Again, I'm speaking with Ra- Rabbi Mendel Fogelman at the Central Mass Chabad. Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely, and thank you for showing me some of the, only some, some of the many <laughs> preparations, um, where the kind of the tip of the iceberg, as as it were, preparing for Stop Pesach. Stop in the now, we'll give you a nice piece of brisket. That sounds like a great idea. And everybody, thank you for following our coverage. And if you have a story idea for me, please email me at msmith at wickedlocal.com. And follow all our coverage at worcestermag.com.